Welcome back heroes to some more Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. We have a brand new solo mode and I have no idea what it is, but I'm excited, man. I do love the uh, the solo modes in here, so new gate options available. Let's go down and what have we got? We have, ooh, Legend of the Starry Dragon. Nice, okay. I have no idea what deck this is. It does look really cool, just Starry Dragon reminds me of Stardust Dragon. <laughs> it does look really cool. Let's jump right in. Not very big story mode, but hopefully the deck's fun to play. So one starry night. Some spend time with their family members, others spend time with their loved ones, and pray for another day of peace and wellness. On this night, when the world is full of happiness, a certain ancient legend is told. The legend of the starry dragon. A holy dragon appears on a beautiful starry night, a knight in a white robe on its back. The good are given a blessing and guidance, while the wicked are thrown into holy fire that burns away evil. So the tale is passed down from parent to child. It transmits the parent's wish that their child lives a pure and righteous life, so that they may one day receive blessings from the holy dragon. This is why it has been told from generation to generation. For the uninformed it is a mere fairy tale. However, there is a hidden truth to this story. Which is... Which is... Alright, so let's go to the practice. Alright. So how does this deck work? We are going second, okie dokie. Ooh, I like the sleeves. So Starry Knight Rail. Um, so the main feature of this deck is that it can be used to summon level 7 light dragon type monsters from your hand or return them from the field to the hand to activate a variety of effects. So when a normal or special summon from the hand, Starry Knight, Starry, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon is a monster that provides strong support for a Starry Knight deck, including an effect that destroys a card on the field. Okay. And the armor looks really cool. Alright, so. Got the Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. So use the effects of your Starry Knight cards to win the duel. Try summoning the Starry Knight Rail. Alright, so we summon this. And then the effect of this is to add Starry Knight Sky to the hand. Okay, that's a field spell. So the opponent will activate the effect of Starry Knight Ceremony and resolve it. Oh, dude, I remember that card. Came in um, one of the, I think it was the Game Boy game, like a nice like sort of like parallel rare. It was so cool. Anyway, we activate this, and then we get this. So activate Starry Night Sky. But to fit, you can normal summon either one Starry Knight or one level seven a Dragon type monster, which I guess would be oh, yeah, do this, and then we get Starry Night Dragon. Oh no, we're gonna summon this. And then activate the effect. Special summon Starry Night Dragon from your hand. Okie dokie. Select one monster. We are. I guess like this. It's the lower one. Go for this. So next, let's activate the effect of Starry Knight, Starry Dragon, a special summon from your hand. Use this effect to destroy Sayayu? Sayayu? On the opponent's field. Okay. So we destroy this. Goodbye. That's still not 5k damage though. Oh, so that will increase the attack of Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. So that's how we do it. And there we go. That's enough damage. I mean, so far I'm liking the look of this deck. I'm liking the artwork. I'm liking how they summon each other. That's kind of cool. I want to see that big boss monster, because I'm assuming the Starry Knight, Starry Dragon is going to just be like the, the main feature cover, won't be the big, big boss monster. But we'll see, alright. Our first duel. Is this deck going to be super fun to play? No, I'm actually going to try it, you know, without the tutorial. Fingers crossed. Alright, so... 
Let's activate this. Kind of wish I looked at the extra deck first to see what kind of cards were in the deck. We've got number 76, Fairy Cheer Girl. Uh, okay, so. So during your main phase, you can reveal one light fairy monster in your hand. Uh, okay, yeah, let's do this. this main phase will reveal this. And we add this. Uh, we'll do this. So what we got, we probably want to get... Let's get this. Okay, so then I summon this. Activate the effect. Uh, we'll get Night Sky. Do this. I. Mm. So you can target one light monster you control, tribute in. If you do, set one starry night spell trap directly from your deck. If a face up level 7 dragon monster you control returns to the hand, this card is in your graveyard, except for then you can special on this card. Right. Mm. I think we'll set this and then we're. Approach Blend Defense, actually. But it's quick effect, so can I do that on my opponent's turn? Yeah, I think I can, so I'm gonna end. I think this is fine. I think I did that a little bit wrong, but. Uh, what we got here? That's fine for now. Battle phase, okay. Now we do it. We're definitely gonna do this. See ya. And don't want to do that just yet. And then set on the field. Uh, so that would be good if we had the dragon on the field. I mean, that would probably be better. Right, main phase two, that's fine. Okay, cool. I think I know what I'm doing, so let's... Uh, so we can get this out. You can send this card to the graveyard. Okay, so I'm just going to get this. Uh, it's both got 1,800, so that's fine. Alright. So I can activate this trap card to... Oh, wow, that looks cool. Special summon Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. Uh, let's do this first. Sure, which one I should probably banish, but uh, let's just do that. Hmm, I'm not sure I can get two out at once. If I do that. Okay, next I want to go activate this. Use effect now. Special summon. Do this. And then this effect. Uh, if it's normal special summon from the hand, you can target one card in the field, destroy it. Cannot be destroyed by a battle with a dark monster. By dark monster's effects, once turn at the start of the damage step, if this card attacks an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster to the end phase. Also, ooh. Ooh. Is it worth not destroying it and attacking then? Then we can banish it. Uh, attacks, an, attacks an opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster into the end phase. Also, this card can make a second attack in a row. I think that's... No, because I wouldn't... Would that just, like, cancel the attack? So would that count as, like... I'm not, I'm not sure if that means I attack it, but then I banish it, then I get a, get to attack again for, for 2,500. Or that means I attack, banish it, get, attack, continue for the replay, attack 2,500, and then attack another 2,500. Not sure how that works, 
but I mean it's fine because I'll just do this then. Just destroy that. And then uh mm, I one level seven drain monster from your deck to your hand, then place a revealed monster. Oh control uh, control's gonna die. Mmm. I don't know if I should get this or I should just I'm debating if I want to just like summon actually no, it's, it's more damage if I attack like this. Oh we're doing half damage. Ah. Is that because of the uh effect? Or is that because of you? Ooh. That might be because of him. Alright, I think I'll just end it here. Either way, I've got this trap card. I can put this to hand. And then if I do that... Uh... What was this? Oh, that's fine. That's got a lot of cards in hand. Then we can activate... Mm. No. I wonder if it... Oh, I'm thinking it would be a good idea to... Right, so yeah, if we do this. You're going to do that. Target that. Uh, I do this. Return this to hand. You don't destroy it. And then I don't want to activate that, but I activate this. Let's put that in defense, 100%. Can you do one effect per turn? If I could just do the other one as well, bam. So then this one, if it gets uh, as quick target, isn't it? Set one directly. Uh... Maybe there's something I could do, but I don't think so. Yeah, there's nothing I can really do at the moment, but we'll just do that. Your attack, that's fine. Oh, wait. Uh, once per turn, if an effective a fairy monster you control is activated, except during the damage step, you can special this card from your hand. If one phase of card your opponent controls, one attack position monster you control, Banish that opponent's card, and if you do ch Oh, sick! I am liking this deck! Oh. So my effect would go off. Ha! <laughs> well. Okay. That's not good. It's fine. It is fine. Because what I'll do is I will do this. Oh wait, yeah, because it's the end phase. So if I go activate this, wait, what can be activated here? Uh, you can banish this card from your graveyard, Total one story night monster in your graveyard, etc. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's do that. Get this bad boy. And then, yeah, do this. Special summon. So I can activate multiple Starry Knight, Starry Dragon's effects in the same turn, can't I? I think I can win if I do this three. Activate this. Destroy this. Uh... If I don't activate the card, you can special on level 7. Oh, If I do this... That would go BAM. Negate, destroy that. And that would get destroyed. And then Starry Knight. Uh... 
So during your turn, if a face up level seven dragon monster you control returns to their hand, you can draw one card. Yes, definitely want to draw a card. This is actually a really cool deck. I like this a lot. So then I can summon this. Activate the effect, yes. Uh, let's get this. And I can summon this. Do that. Activate the effect and then hopefully this will be GG. I am, I am actually really liking this deck a lot. I kind of really want to build it. It's really fun to play. All right, let's do the uh, the goal and then unlock the the closed gate into the last two duels. So truth hidden within the legend. That is the battle between the dragon and the evil beings. Since the beginning of time, there have been demonic beings that spread disorder. Many people were suffering because of these demons' mischief. The angels that watch over the people took pity and prayed to heaven. In answer to that holy prayer, Starry Night Starry Dragon descended upon the earth. The Starry Dragon unleashes its might to save humankind. The angels took arms as knights, obedient to the will of the dragon and served to purge the evil. In shining platinum armor, the white-winged angels soared through the starry sky. These angels were called the Starry Knights. Many of the demons were purged by the dragon and the angels before they, before they were even witnessed by humans. No matter how much time passes, people will remain ignorant of the truth while they pass on the legend. The traces of the holy dragon and the angels silently disappear as they fulfill their duties. To the twinkling stars flowing like the Milky Way, we give our thanks and holy blessings. Nice little story, man. Nice little Christmas story for Christmas. <laughs> also going to be thinking, come, um, what, January... First, around then, we'll have um, the anniversary of Master Duel, and then we'll probably get like a brand new ban list, which will be nice. All right, maybe like a nice anniversary gem collection or something. Ooh, possibilities of anniversary stuff for like games like this always, always good, and sometimes kind of bad. Okay, two nice guys. Uh, not not the best, but. It's fine. Uh, let's summon this. And I guess N, not really much I can do. At the moment, anyway. Okay, gonna do Night Sky as well, that's fine. I think I'll probably get the trap card. Oh! Nice. Having a much better start than I did. Alright, ceremony. Just gonna do this now. Trap card. I can summon Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. I'm not liking the look of your hand, like this is a little scary, but I'll take the damage. Everything's fine. The only issue is the ceremony. Oh, snap, doing that during the battle phase, okay. That is not good, and you got 3,600, sweet. Right, this is bad. So what I'll have to do, is if I summon this, Activate the effect. Uh, not yet. Don't activate it just yet. If we get... That would be good to have next turn. Hmm. Let's, okay, let's do it like this. Fine, so you're gonna get your Starry Night, Starry Dragon. Gonna destroy my face down. Okay, so I'll activate this. 
have to use the effect right away. Special summon my Starry Knight, Starry Dragon. And we will get... Mm, we've got to destroy this big dude. Right, let's get rid of that. Okay. Next we do this. If we add... Oh, we've got a new card. Um, which one do I want to do? An opponent's monster declares an attack. You can send this card from your hand or face up fill of the graveyard. Special summon. I don't want to get that. I want to get... You can target one light monster you control. Tribute, and if you do, special level 7 light dragon monster from your hand. Banish a card from your graveyard and type one level... Uh, oh, okay. Hang on. And I'm gonna summon this. I could do that. Once we turn at the start of the damage to this card bounds on opponent's monster, you can banish that opponent's monster's face down. Let's get this. a lot to uh banish if i can if i do this it could be good oh no ah it's so annoying you just like nope one by one wish i could just like target multiple if i can i don't know how to do it i have this one by one Almost there. Oh, three more. Okay, so we do this. Decide and then we go. Get this. Right, battle phase. Attack. Activate effect. Okay. Uh, attack. Not use effect, just destroy it. 1 8 and then 500. And you have one card. Well, we're gonna have two cards in hand now. That worked out pretty well. Whew. Got a little bit worried there for a second. Okay. Oh, that makes it with uh, zero attack, zero defense, right? Yeah. Battle phase? Sure. Main phase 2. That's all good. That's all good. Okay. And ooh, I don't know if I want to activate the effects. It's, it's just a fairy. So it's if your opponent activates a card, no, it's just a card or effect. If I activate the effect, it's gonna be uh, target or banish it. Target one level seven dragon monster you control against a thousand attack. But you got no cards in hand, so it shouldn't really matter, right? So let's do this. Man, we have 3,500. Um, so if I attack over, that'd be 1, 5. I can do 2 fists. It's uh, fine. Do it like this. So we kill you. And then attack this, sure why not, and then tag 1-8, okay, can you top deck something good, please say no, <laughs> quite intense duel, hey, okay, so all I have to do is just uh, attack and then win, battle phase, Attack, activate effect, banish you, see you later. Attack 2 5, win. Yeah! That was, uh. That was a good battle. Alright. Last duel, last duel. Alright. Difficulty level 5 stars. Because I really do, I do love this deck. 
It's such a such a fun deck to play. All right, what changes have we got here? Oh, we got Imperial Boa. Okay, so if you control no other monsters, you contribute this card. Take two different monsters from your deck among Queen's Knight, King's Knight, and or Jack's Knight. You add them to your hand, especially some. Oh. Okay. That sounds kind of fun. So if I do this, activate effect. Uh, so when it's normal summoned. And then Queen's Knight. Might as well. I do like Arcana Knight. Uh... The Knight's deck is what I use in a uh, speed duel. Absolutely love it. Well, let's set this and we shall end. Nice first turn. Arcana Knight Joker! Such a cool card. Alright, Starry Knight. Uh, that's fine. If this card had one more effect where you could just add the uh, level 7 to hand, from deck to hand, that would be so good. I'm a little bit worried, but it should be fine. And phase, okay, cool. Right, so what we want to do is definitely summon this. That's actually super awesome. Right. I uh, wish I had a spell card, not gonna lie. Mm, actually, I could do this, can't I? Because uh, you'll still activate that. Alright, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. So I'm going to do this. Your activate... Ceremony, maybe? Oh, it's doesn't look like the hand goes to the field. Yeah, there's the activation. I'm not going to do it just yet. I'll wait. Because then you'll get your Starry Knight out. You're going to activate the effect. You're going to target that. I activate this effect, and I discard this, and then I also activate this effect to get my Starry Knight out, and then I destroy your Starry Knight. Or do I destroy... Mm. Who should I destroy? Oh, should I destroy? I'm gonna do the face down. Uh, so you're gonna send this card from your hand or face up field to the graveyard. Okay. So you can uh, banish this card from your graveyard, target one level seven light dragon monster you control or in your graveyard, return it to your hand. Don't wanna do that? Not yet, no. Right. Uh, gonna do this. Nope. Gonna add this now just for the safety net. Right, battle phase. Attack. And then attack. Alright, and then we end. This is actually going alright. I actually I wanna build this deck right now with the uh the Arcana Knight Knight Joker engine in, because it's just so fun. Okay. Then I'm gonna activate this. No, I'm not. Oh, it's too late now. Uh, let's do this. And I summon this. Okay, all good. And I'm gonna activate the effect. Gonna get rid of this now. 
Yeah! Well, I don't think it really matters too much. I'm going to tribute for your Starry Knight. Who target? I'm guessing it's going to be Arcana Knight. I would. Yep. I don't know if I could... Uh, I don't think it would work. Like, I can't get it to hand now, then activate the effect, because it's, it's not part of the same... It wouldn't be part of the same chain. So I want to try it. Uh, yes. And then defense. Activate effect. So I'm just check, double checking. This goes to tributes. I don't want really to want to tribute, do I? To itself. Fine. Two five, 2500. And then it will come back. And I just activate this, destroy that, and I'm good. I win. <laughs> Alright, so. Activate. Special summon. Bam. Destroy this. I, honestly, I know I keep saying I love this deck. I want to see how much it will cost to build in real life, and I want to build it. It is so fun. Uh, I'm not going to activate the face, no point, it's going to win. Woo! This is a very fun deck. Nice. Okay. So good. Love that. Well, that was the uh, Starry Knight, Starry Dragon, the Legend of Starry Dragon solo mode. That was, honestly, mwah, love that deck. But thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys next time for some more uh, Master Wars. A new season is starting to actually play because I haven't played ranked in a while as you can see my rank has you know dropped super low because i haven't played in quite some while but i need to start grinding some gems make some new decks and whatnot but i'll catch you guys next time thank you so much for watching have a great day peace